Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.Webs.com. You're taking a look at a 6.7 magnitude earthquake that struck Vancouver Island in Canada region. And again, I'm bringing you a real quick earthquake update again for today, September 9th, 2011. Taking a look at a depth of 25.90 kilometers or 16.09 miles. According to the USGS, they have a little bit of a difference on there. It shows a location at 49.474 degrees north. 126.974 degrees west. Death, according to the USGS, 25.9 kilometers or 16.1 miles. And of course, the distances and locations where the earthquake was possibly felt. And if you have felt this earthquake, please feel free to comment where you're located at and if you did feel it. So again, it's a 6.7 earthquake, Vancouver, and we'll continue to keep you posted. Now, going over to spaceweather.com, and guys, please check out this site. It's very awesome. And uh, I check it out every day for constant updates on the solar flares. We're taking a look at this because there is a possibility, a very strong possibility, that we're having trouble with these earthquakes in different areas because of these solar flares. And it shows that a strong geomagnetic storm hit this morning early. It shows a KP7 geomagnetic storm and it's in progress and currently still in progress. It says that the impact of a CME around 11:30 UT on Saturday are today, Friday, September 9th, that this could be the first of several from series of CMEs to be expected to reach Earth during this weekend. It shows high latitude sky watchers should be on alert. Update, it shows that there is a critical information update here showing an electrical ground currents caused by the storm have been detected in Norway. So these flares are actually causing electrical problems and we're going to continue to see that. According to the information below that says a sunspot, which is 1283, is producing flares so intense they are visible through solar telescopes in the backyard, which people do have, and 90 million miles away or 93 million miles away, people can see them. Now, uh, th this one was uh, photographed as an M class or M6 class uh, eruption, according to the information. Go ahead and click on that, take a look at it when you get a chance. And of course, the bottom of there shows information saying the magnetic canopy of Sunspot 1283 has unstable beta gamma delta configuration that harbors energy for more powerful eruptions. NOAA forecasters estimate a 75% chance of more M class flares and a 25% chance, and guys, this the highest we've had is a chance for X class flares during the next 24 hours. I'm going to call this during the next 24 to 48 hours as we are in the 24 hour cycle according to the NOAA forecasters. And of course you can read more information as you like as you go on through. But guys stay tuned for the latest. Any further earthquakes that do show up, I will try to post a video as fast as I can. So again th guys thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Have a wonderful day.